How you doing, everybody? And welcome. This is Oscar Ramos, and we pumped for another crypto live. Oh yeah, everybody! Can we get lower price? Lower prices, please. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Oscar Live. Well, yes, guys. Crypto dump, flash, quick dump. Crypto whales. Don't worry, please, fam. Do not worry about what's happening it is what it is tomorrow we have the bitcoin conference in miami florida from the 6th to the 9th a lot of people are gonna be there you think they're worried no they're not they're actually buying what you're selling they're buying so <laughs> man it's time is it time to buy as always you know i'm greedy i'm always want to find those best prices guys let me welcome each of each and every one of you to the live my friends um this one we are going to go ahead and start talking about all these different concepts and subjects that are happening in today's. And this week so far, it's just based barely Tuesday, but there's a lot of things going on. How in the world can somebody explain me? Things are going down for crypto at this time, but Dogecoin is going to the moon. And I wonder why. Well, of course, if you are living under a rock, you don't know. But Elon Musk taking 9% of the entire Twitter shares. You know, the entire Twitter uh, uh, stock. So, of course, that is going to balloon the price of Twitter stock. And, uh, well, co consequently, now we saw what happened with Dogecoin price. So, a bunch of things to go over, everybody. Happy to have you here. Welcome to my Tectonic Army, Kronos Army, and everyone in between. There's a bunch of things happening as you're seeing the price right now in the five-minute view. So, of course, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Kronos, Dogecoin and all those things. But let me tell you, um, on Thursday, we're going to have Bursa Games join us here. Today, I posted a video about, uh, you know, pumping on Tectonic and VBS Finance. And I do have my reasons as far as why I believe that's going to happen. And of course, posting the video from Bursa Games, sponsored by Bursa. Thank you, Bursa, for coming in and join, joining the crew. So really happy to have you guys. Crypto Skin, Chris half bread and 45 grados and chris and many people here and quinn is just coming in here prosperity to the family thank you chris appreciate it a lot as always coming in here so drop a like subscribe to the channel and turn on those notification bells what's going on aliba barusti been watching your channel since october but finally join us a member today well thank you very much for coming in in clutch we appreciate all that kind of support my man and if you have any questions, please drop it here. All the members get, of course, that VIP treatment access. So, guys, um, what you've been up to, tell me, tell me in the comments right now. But, well, Crypto Flash Dump, I've lived many of this in my entire crypto life. And these are, these are the times when Oscar Ramos is the happiest. Why, you may ask, because this is the opportunity where I, where I can buy cheap crypto. Let me tell you something. I'm buying Ethereum right now because I need to be ready for the Board Ape Jet Club land sale. I was ready. Uh, I was preparing my audience for the Arcade Inc. land sale that occurred last week, and it got sold out in two minutes. What's happening right now? Listen closely. What's happening right now is there are some metaverses really coming out in clutch for a lot of people, and the good metaverses, the one that are intertwined with good projects like the board a jet club that belongs to yuga labs that has a partnership with crypto punks that they bought it and with meat beats there's huge stuff happening and i'm not gonna let it pass by that is why everybody that is why i'm buying ethereum i'm putting all that ethereum in my metamask wallet making sure i have enough so when those land sales come out hopefully i am closer to something whitelist roll and i can buy cheap you know that is the idea buying while they're available because if not that's not gonna happen so that is what i'm doing right now with my money buying ethereum but of course uh, never forgetting what i've done so far which is buying Cro uh, chronos a uh, protocol ecosystem buying most of the different things buying bitcoin and of course buying um other different cryptocurrencies like Cardano, AmToken, and much more. Right now, Bitcoin, I mean, $45,000. I mean, you, you cannot see the price. So there you go. Now you now you see the price. $45,000. We reached, let me tell you actually what happened. Uh, bam. 3%. Not much. 3%. The entire market also decreased about 3.5%. 
not much, but we know that for Bitcoin, that's, you know, a movement about $2,000 to $1,500. So that's a nice sell-off, nice way of, you know, welcoming the night for, for the whales selling. Now, what does this mean? Listen to me closely, guys. This, it is only the representation as far as people having alerts and triggers. That was the support for somebody and that was the entry for somebody. So some people are buying Bitcoin, right? Michael Saylor bought millions of Bitcoin today. Once again, Michael Saylor bought millions of Bitcoin, uh, millions worth of Bitcoin. Let me correct myself. Millions worth of Bitcoin today. So, man, aren't we feeling pretty bullish in this one, right? And you have to understand that even if you don't like Bitcoin because it's too expensive, it is it, it, it is the daddy of everyone, right? At this time, as a proof of work, as a store of value, as a store of energy, as a store of money. So Bitcoin, although my portfolio, I don't have enough that I want it. I think it's still going to be an amazing tool to beat inflation in the long term, right? Some people saying Luna is taking off. I love to see that, right? So let's go ahead to the numbers, everybody, and let's go ahead and refresh this 2.8. So it's kind of correcting right now this time. We have Luna still 117 is doing okay. Dogecoin, which is another one that I cannot believe. Um, I'll go to Dogecoin in just a second. Now, Crocoin. 46 cents. That's what we're seeing right now with Crocoin. So, <laughs> man, this is absolutely hilarious. Take a look at this drop. So what I'm looking for for Crocoin is we had right about here. You take a look at this, guys. This represents the support that I had created. And basically, it stopped at, at around that support that I had created. This was my orange support line that I created days ago. And I've said, I believe in that orange support line. We're going to be having, you know, some battle with the prices. And that is exactly what happened. As you can tell here on TradingView FTX, the price dropped to 45 cents and immediately got rejected to the 46, 47 cents. What does that mean? Well, it means that people are buying, period. People are buying. So let's go. Loving it. Hello from Texas. People saying hi from Miami. Well, if you're going to Miami, I have good, I have good news for you. Boom. Now, Serena Williams. Now she's going to be at the Bitcoin 2022 conference. It's going to be a lot of people at the Bitcoin 2022 conference. And actually, you know, I was very close to going in my mind. I wanted to, but I think probably next year will be an amazing time. Because even right now in 2022, where I mean, cryptocurrency is becoming this major topic of, of, of discussion. And now we're having more executive orders coming in and the government is getting more involved. And um, even Elon Musk, known, you know, known for his crazy crypto and stock moves, becoming part of Twitter now. So I think in one year from now, we're going to have an NFT revolution. We're going to have a Web3 revolution. We're going to have a Game 5 revolution. So by then, I'll be... Ex I mean, I think in a way better position financially to go and uh, just enjoy it with everybody. I mean, I think one year will be enough to uh, to enjoy some nice moments with people and with the fellows there. Just giving you my my thoughts. So that's pretty cool. This is what we have for Croco and everybody like the price here. Not bad. Uh, now. <laughs> another topic here for the for discussion here in this live that I wanted to, that I wanted to touch base the price of Dogecoin a, a cryptocurrency that I don't really touch that much but I don't even own Dogecoin right that is kind of kind of uh, funny because Dogecoin was the first crypto that I started with in my entire crypto journey but not Dogecoin for me but what we're seeing right now on the screen is a 16 a 16 cent Dogecoin and well, it pumped about 15 to 20 percent or so since the fourth. Here it is. Let me go ahead and break my ruler right now. Since the fourth pumped all the way to 20, oh, I, I mean, really 25 percent Dogecoin. Now, there's a lot of people that own Dogecoin, right? In my opinion, if I wanted to have one meme coin, it wouldn't be Dogecoin. That's it. I've said it. I'm going to have something else for sure. 
that have that has more utility uh in my opinion but yeah here it is and still is growing so not bad not bad absolutely now what's happening here is that all those people who bought we're seeing right now the results still in the less than 24 hours that like this is happening so fast this is happening so fast now 10 percent retracement right in the in the bottom just a couple minutes ago and then right now we're looking at 16 cents so you know loving to see those prices that is what it is what do you think what do you think about the chronos nft marketplace do you use the known leases bay or what do you follow drops there well, NFT marketplace and Kronos, guess what? We're having Versa games coming in, right? And Versa games is going to be this place where you can also, you know, use those NFTs and have it shareable, a storefront for games, for NFTs. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, I haven't used that particular marketplace, but I know it has good liquidity. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to try it out, but I haven't used it, my man. Great job. Yeah, hey, Oscar, is the Bitcoin event broadcasted online for free? I don't think so because they charge a lot of money. If you haven't checked the price for, uh, for, I mean, for one attendee at the Bitcoin conference, they have it divided. So if you want the entire event, it's like around $15,000 or $24,000. If you want to go only to one, I believe it was like around $1,000. So it's going to, you have to pay to, to attend. And uh, I don't think they're going to share it online. Probably because they know there's going to be a lot of influencers that are talking and, you know, kind of going around. Probably it's going to be uh, closed doors or, or not closed doors, but they are telling people um, not to broadcast it. Who cares? I mean, I don't know. Probably yes, probably no, but I haven't seen. I mean, it hasn't started. It's tomorrow. But uh, the speakers, I'm sure they're going to share that online. Kind of makes sense, right? Especially Michael Saylor or the president of El Salvador that's going to be there. Uh, Ricardo Salinas, a Mexican, right? So I'm sure that that's going to be online. But as far as the some of the workshops and the Wells Night, I don't think that's going to be online. Just pretty cool stuff, right, to think about. But great question. That is great. So, guys, this is what we're having with the prices at this time for, for Bitcoin. I mean, a nice flash crash. I like it. Let me show you a couple of things here. First... Ah, man, it's not that much anymore. <laughs> Before I was doing the live, um, MM Finance was much lower. And this is insane, you know? This is pretty nice. I'm going to take some time here with, with MM Finance. <clears throat> because what's happening with MM Finance, I'm looking at the volume. It, it is what happens um, in totally opposite. Let me explain. We're seeing right now, I'm seeing right now the price of MM Finance rise, right, which is great, right? I mean, that is what we want. That is what everybody wants to rise. But usually, what you will have is at the very beginning of the project, you will have those massive rise of in volume. And then later on, you will have something more like this, right? Now, that is what we're seeing with Tectonic and VBS Finance. And I guess part of the reason is because we see these projects, the ones I just mentioned, BBS and Tectonic, in the trillions to economics. Um, I mean, Shiba Inu is still in the trillions to economics, and I see that type of pattern I, I'm mentioning. But the ones that are in the millions to economics, just in a way that attract a different type of investor, um, I do see this pattern too, right? That it's rising in price because People are just buying a lot right now. There's a lot of trading in MM Finance happening. The number one ecosystem, right? They, they don't only have MMF. They have many different other protocols here. So I was mentioning in my video today how it's been overbought ever since. I mean, it's been touching that upper side of the Bollinger Bands and only retracing to this middle one, right? Now, it's been like that all March did it which means all March was amazing gains and gains and gains. I'm always of the idea to wait it out, not in a rush. There's more than 10,000, almost 20,000 coins to, to, uh, to choose from. So that is, I believe, one of my greatest advices for me that I want to share with you guys that always goes for me. If I see something like this, it tells me, one, there's trust in this project. When I do my due diligence on MM Finance and I observe, oh, yes, it's true. MM Finance is a great project, has X, Y, and C, makes sense. TVL is growing. Cool. 
But when it comes to the price, that's a different story, right? Price can be manipulated. TBL cannot be manipulated. TBL is, I am setting you my money to make more money. Whereas here I'm buying tokens that the price I cannot control. See what I'm saying? So that is what's happening here. Um, I'm of the idea always to wait it out for something like this, for something like this. Yes, the, I mean, and, and, and it is still, I'm gonna reduce my camera because I believe it's too big. <laughs> that is much better. Uh, I'm always of the idea to have a nice drop roughly at the bottom of the um, Bollinger Bands, which does gonna put the price roughly around the 79 cents. I'm not saying MM Finance will go down to the 20 cents. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I am saying that it will go, you know, much lower eventually when we have a drop. When will that drop be? Well, it's the same thing that I've been saying with, uh, what is it? ApeCoin, right? ApeCoin is another one that, let me show you, let me show you, right? I'm not lying to you. I'm going to change uh, Dogecoin, which is, you know, performing crazy as always. And I have Ape here. So Ape also sold off with this uh, small flash dump. But you can take a look at Ape price. Let me go to the four hours here. Just to make sure you guys understand my point. So here it is. From the $15, right, that we reach, what, what's happening with Apecoin? It's been, you know, losing that volume that we started with, right? That is what usually happens oftentimes. Now, Apecoin has some really delicious tokenomics, and I know it's going to do well, but I need it to go down. Now, in this case of Apecoin, you see that it's not reaching the Bollinger Bands anymore right now. Well, that's what's happening with with MM Finance, it's just giving you different flavors so you can test around my point, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that eventually we're going to be seeing this at the bottom and eventually we're going to be seeing ApeCoin much higher. But the question is, when will that stop doing? Well, right now we're seeing the ApeCoin, you know, decreasing lower, lower and lower, which in my opinion, I usually like to grab cryptocurrencies at around the 78% retracement, which that for ApeCoin will be around $9. Going back to 6 to $7 at the rate of uh, that where we're going right now with ApeCoin, it might be too difficult. But guess what? With a big crypto crash, any price is possible. And let me tell you something. That's what I've said when I was looking at M AMP token. When I've said, no, AMP token is going to remain at five cents because it, I mean, it looks really strong, but not in reality, not in reality because it went down to the two cents. Now you can tell me, right? Let's go. Hey, welcome guys. Welcome. Happy to have most of you here. And it's just a great night, you know, Tuesday night live talking about every single thing. We've been talking about Kronos on Sunday. It was a great night. A lot of people showed up and basically said 2x chronos to the moon, of course. And um, that is what's happening, right? About, I mean, close to be uh, uh, sideways with Polygon TBL. That is what we like. Let me see this one. Oscar, are you investing in the MMF ecosystem? If so, man, that has been an amazing ride so far. Loving it. Eden, I was fully invested in VVS in regards to DeFi. However, I was lucky to switch to MMF a few weeks ago. So worth it doing it. However, I'm afraid when MMF Eco will have a deep correction. Well, Eden, we're actually touching exactly on the point that I'm talking right now. Exactly what I'm talking right now. So it is important to, uh, in my opinion, understand how um, everything works in a way, right? Um, now, we passed $1 with MMF and that was like, man, I knew it was going to happen now. Ever since we've been on a rampage for the last month and a half. So, yeah, I mean, no need for me to buy at this time MMF, uh, knowing that, let me just show you this. I have MMF here, MM Finance. If I compare it to Uniswap, that will put us at 14X, that will be a $25 crypto MMF. So people can make the argument as far as, I mean, this is a really cheap price still, if we are comparing right now with the circulating supply to Uniswap, that will put us at $25, right? So in a way, I believe if you are one of those investors that don't care when to buy it, then 
you are might as well gonna do well if you buy it here and hold for a long time, knowing that you can stake and and do the yield optimizer and you will be set. I mean, I think that's the greatest thing ever. In my opinion, I'm always looking for the greatest deal. And no matter how good your project is, it's always going to come down. So I get that a lot. Now, there's a bunch of different concepts here because MMF is not really out there. It has not that much volume, even though we are seeing a lot of volume. It's not really that much volume when you compare to other different cryptos. So, man, so many different variables, right, that we can choose from, that we can see. And I like that. Just so many different things to look at. So um, always do your research and, uh, well, keep making that money, fam. Keep making that money. Uh, we have here on the historical values, next update coming up, but neutral, neutral, and greed last week. Extreme fear, that was the last month, just to give you an idea how far we have moved from the extreme fear all the way to the neutral and right now, just with a small little correction here in the markets that is actually, I believe, already correcting. Let's refresh this one, still at 2.8. So these are the, some of the cryptocurrency projects at this time, as I've explained. Looking into, I mean, not selling my Cardano, already have my Cardano, everybody. It is one of those crypto projects like earlier today, who was listening to Snoop Dogg, Charles Hoskinson, and the Clay Nation. Anyone from here? Anyone from the ADA army? Uh, so yeah, I was there just listening for a little bit. Um, what's happening, everyone, is like, I mean, Ethereum, the merge, you guys are probably aware of that, right? The merge, the next Ethereum upgrade is coming up. Assuming, um, according to reports, later on this year, like around mid the year 2022, there's gonna be a massive, you know, uptake in the entire crypto market. The prices that I'm seeing right now are just a mere representation as far as what I'm going to see later on because we still remain bullish. Understanding that if Bitcoin is still at 45 and all of these prices are still so cheap, in quotes, um, when eventually in due time have a next run up, not saying for Terra Luna or Solana right now because they've been really exploding, but on everything then at that point it will make total sense to say wow i should have bought today i should have bought today the title of this video of course flash dump but really is can we get these prices lower i think that's the point of the story right lower please that's what i tweeted earlier today i mean a bunch of people bullish in shiba i know i know the shiba army is super strong the dogecoin army is also there present but of course, we've been talking a lot about Kronos and how Kronos is dominating the scene with MMF and with other different um, protocols. Now we are, you know, coming in with DBS Finance Versa. The vaults are out. So a bunch of different developers are really coming in and stepping up. So what I'm looking at is like, okay, so where do I park my money for maximum returns? Well, I have money everywhere, really. I have money everywhere. And thus far, I think what has really worked great for me was buying ethereum and holding it and just putting it to stake and not really worry too much about it that's what has been working really great for me if i have to tell you an example and well after a flash dump what happens guys well exactly what's happening right now you're seeing in the five minute chart we're coming back baby five minutes right there already in the mid longer bands and we're seeing the rsi right here not bad at all, everybody. Not bad at all. Um, usually, right? I mean, Bitcoin, what's, you know, declining, decreasing, decreasing for the last couple of, uh, sorry, increasing, increasing for the last couple of weeks. I think this little flash dump was not bad. And, you know, in due time, uh, getting ready for tomorrow. And it, it kind of, it all makes sense how whales that are attending tomorrow to the uh, Bitcoin conference, they want that cheap Bitcoin to show off to everybody who they're going to meet tomorrow. Makes total sense. Thoughts on spell token. I don't know any spell token, man. Passing that one. They made enough money to recover shorts in the market. <laughs> AMC, that's true. I was, oh, that, that's nice. Phantom. I don't know, Phantom, my man. Cheers to everybody. All right. 
And don't forget to join me, guys, on Thursday for my Versa Live AMA with the founders. AMA with Versa Games. It's going to happen on Thursday, everybody. We're going to be here talking to them because there's going to be the next IEO. So while we have these prices still going crazy, I'm going to go ahead and change gears here from MMF, which, I mean, it's doing terrific. Let's go ahead and take a look at Tectonic. What's, what's our Tectonic doing at this time? There you go. And the price of Tectonic, surprisingly, keep going down. Oh, yes. Now, the next stage for Tectonic and BBS Finance, of course, is going to be up. That's what I know it's going to happen. And that's why I'm buying slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely on Tectonic. Of course, putting all the money I can afford losing. And I'm going to give you a nice price analysis on this one because it's been a while. So let's go ahead and do a deep dive here. Take a look at this. So what we're seeing on the price of Tectonic after the two pumps in January and February. So nice long retracement. Finally, March comes in and we're like, OK, so what's going on? March comes in mid-March. We finally reach a point here. I'm going to bring my where is it? Price label right about here. Boom. There it is. So we reach five zeros one once again. And at this time, it kind of started to look like something we experienced from here, right? Where we, it kind of takes a while for it to go down. <laughs> that just represents the behavior of a trillion uh, trillion uh, cryptocurrency in the token side. That's what it represents. Because it does need that burning capability for governance, right? Remember, the more tectonic the release to the circulating supply the more difficult becomes to explode um the lesser chances are to explode to you know a much higher level uh, but still you have you have this you know the same amount of tokens in your portfolio that doesn't change so eventually you know as more of that burning continues we'll start to see the prices increase officially they haven't really promoted burning but they have it in one clause there as a possibility for tectonic now this is a cryptocurrency that is brand new that is really not that old that's something i like to remind a lot of people i mean um usually we want to have the shiba inu effect and to have the shiba inu effect you require way more than becoming than being a protocol inside chronos remember that most investors don't know what chronos is they don't know what crypto.com even is uh, because they're only focused on Ethereum. That's something that you have to be aware. You need not only um, Tectonic to be uh, pumping, but you need Tectonic, you need Kronos, you need VVS Finance to be trending on Twitter, to people talking about this cryptocurrency. You need that conversation to be given. And it takes time. You know, uh, That's the way I see it. It is not going to be a long fight. And that's why, in a way... Um, I'm going to tell you something, right? I mean, if you really want to make it much faster, then you have to solidify and focus in one project, right? Um, that's how uh, you make the biggest gains. However, that is where the biggest risk comes. Because let's say if you have $10,000 and you buy $10,000 of, of Tectonic right now, well, you just made yourself really rich in Tectonic tokens, right? And if for some reason we have a massive pump then you're gonna be you're gonna be the one who are who are just gonna be beating us all in profits if you decide to sell. But at the same time, when will Tectonic eventually reach those you know maker and Abbey prices that I'm telling you right here? I don't know. Nobody knows. But that is the potential that we have later on uh, by looking at every and all the numbers that's happening. And it takes a while. It takes quarters. It takes months. So. We like to analyze, you know, the prices as we speak it, but do not forget that this takes some time for it to mature. And um, with barely staking already active, which I'm going to go there, let's go ahead and take a look at what it says there. Then there you go. Hey, Oscar, just wondering, what do you think about are the hottest platforms to buy NFTs and drops? Um, well, the hottest platforms for NFTs and drops, That's I think that's a great question. I'm going to get to that one in just one second once I finish this one. Thank you for asking that. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> NFTs is exactly what I'm doing right now. And on uh, Cardano ecosystem, on OpenSea right now, like I mentioned at the very beginning, 
adding more Ethereum, adding more Ethereum. That's what I'm doing right now. Because you know what I want to do? I want to try to flip one nice Ethereum NFT, sell it and start buying a duplex or something like that in real estate. That is the idea. It is possible, but I mean, since we don't have, listen to this, since we don't have a, an altcoin season, you do need to be very skilled, like skilled in, in finding those um, easy and, and powerful NFT collections. And I was able to find a couple of them. The problem is that you do need to be very, very like high level up or known some really great people because like, for example, we had the Arcade Inc. last week and um, the Megalands. Megalands were three Ethereum each, if I'm not mistaken, three Ethereum each. Right after the all the Megalands were sold, right after, they were selling at 100 Ethereum. Some of them are 50 Ethereum, some of them are 30 Ethereum, 40 Ethereum. So those are the life-changing, like, no way you made it type of NFTs that everyone is looking for. Because here's the deal. You don't have to wait for the project to mature, right? To be like super successful and to announce a, a, like a groundbreaking partnership. So those are that's what I'm trying to do, right? With the Board Ape Jet Club NFT drop. I made a video last Saturday about the NFTs. It's there in my channel. Go ahead and watch it. Basically, like some of the top five projects for NFTs. And I detailed, you know, my thoughts. Um, the, the difference couldn't be much higher when you have, um, what is it, coins or tokens that are subject to manipulation and are, of course, waiting for, a, for an altcoin season. And on the other hand, you have NFTs that it's super difficult to price them, but you go ahead and take a look at the features and that's how you price them. So in my opinion, <laughs> um, being someone who is already into the NFT world, who is learning every single day, who owns, you know, who owns, here it is, wait, who owns miners, which I'm going to give you, I can give you an update right now with my miners. You know, as long as we stay consistent, fam, like we don't have to really rush it. We don't have to really get anxious or, I mean, just go out of our way to uh, miss a meal, you know, but just take it easy, slowly but surely, we're going to make it. Um, not worrying too much, just being patient, right? Because remember, when the crypt when the crypto punks started, that was like five, four years ago or so. And look at them now, and it, I mean, everything evolves in crypto. It's it's a ever changing uh, world that um, it's it's not even um, Bitcoin is not even the legal tender in the United States. Just imagine when that happens, all the money that we have already staked can easily two x because. Bitcoin and crypto will be now the one desirable digital asset. We just don't see it yet. So as right now with um, what happened with Elon Musk and Twitter and Twitter stock went through the roof, that made happen when the United States actually says something like that. So I'm pretty happy where, uh, where I am. You know, I think that's another way of saying it. <laughs> Let's go, everybody. How we doing? Welcome, welcome. So let me go ahead to go ahead and take a look at the comments right here. But that was a good question. What's up tonight from Texas? Ron, happy to have you, Ron. Aleta, I don't have Aleta, my man. I'll have to take a look at it. The World Cup will send Crow to the moon. Honestly, I'm super excited for that. I've already given many of my thoughts on the World Cup with Kronos, with Crow Coin. You guys, of course, know that is happening in November and well. I mean, uh, who cares, you know, what teams wins? I mean, that's going to be great for everyone. But at the end of the day, crypto will win because once you are in Qatar, people are going to be paying with crypto. People are going to be receiving crypto. And uh, we're just going to have a bunch of different ads and, and marketing campaigns. And it's just crypto is moving fast for our purposes, right? For us investors. Um, how exciting, exciting times we're living in right now, right? The World Cup is going to come and uh, Kronos might be by then. What do you think? Number what? Eight, seven, six, probably. Right now it's number nine. I mean, I'm, I'm giving it from April all the way to November. That's what? Five, six months. So I, I think we're going to make it. Right now looking at, at MMF, looking at VVS with Versa Token, I think we're going to do just fine. And uh, well... 
just put in my two seats you're putting my two cents every single paycheck every single time we got money on the side gotta you know never forget it you have to be watering that plan you have to water it water it every single time and um just be patient because at the end of the day i think it's gonna pay off right same goes with real estate same goes with uh any other type of investment um you just have to be you know uh, choosing your fights <laughs> welcome welcome hey oscar shout out from rio grande valley do you think am token flexa will announce some corporate retail partnership this year if so uh do you think that we'll see a boost in price nicolas what's going on man welcome um am token oh how I like am token right um well i hope uh, am token right now it's a nice project in the erc erc 20 token running on ethereum Hopefully one day we'll have its main net, right? Uh, I mean, Tyler Spaulding from Flexa, the team, and uh, everyone behind it, they have a nice idea what, what they want to do. Of course, I'm talking has potential. It's just as an investment, hasn't been the best, right? And it's not the only one. It's not the only one working in the pay payroll system method. So hopefully they add some more flavor. Um, they had the 25 days of Flexa in 2021. So that turned out to be great for the community, but uh, still we need that much more movement. Uh, but when it comes to the price, they don't really talk about the price, right? They don't really talk about the price, but hopefully we're gonna do better. So I like I'm talking, still owning I'm talking, still staking I'm talking. Let's go AMP. Uh -uh, Team Tonic, loving it. Hello from Cali. There you go. Damn, I'm <laughs> bleeding red today. Let's see if it's going lower. Do me a favor, guys. Why don't you go ahead and smash the like button right now and consider subscribing. We're talking about crypto. We're talking about all things when it comes to Bitcoin and all of the good ones. Cheers. And as always, guys, reminding you on Thursday at 9 p.m. Now, why, why 9 p.m.? I wanted to make it at 8 p.m., but they told me, bro, like Oscar, we live in Singapore. It's going to be... If you do it at nine, it's going to be 10 a.m. So that will work better for us. And I'm like, OK, sure. No worries. No worries. So, yeah, it's they're they're calling from Singapore. So, sure, we're going to have Versa Games on Thursday. It's going to be great. Hopefully you guys can join us, can join us. That's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Only Dogecoin green. I know, right? That is exactly what we were talking just a couple hours ago. NF, welcome, bro. Glad to have you here. Well, guys, Tectonic. It's 95% now, 95% tectonic, and I have 129,000 stake extonic at 154 tectonic. So that is what's happening right now with tectonic. Still staking is still is high, but oh man, tectonic price has to increase for the APY to increase. Um, so just sitting there, not worrying too much, and to the moon. That's what it is. Let's go ahead and do Tectonic and see what is the latest here. We got Tectonic right now very, very down at two point. In the last seven days, 11% down. In the last 30 days, 20% up. So just, I mean, you have to put some perspective, right? The last 30 days in the last month, we actually are 20% up. That is not bad. But in the last 90 days now, we're actually 22% up. So, you know, take a look at those marks as well we know that we're not super high but in the max well 41 percent down that's when you realize okay this has been this has been a, a really rough start for tectonic and I, it's totally fine totally fine it is what happens when we compare tectonic to let's say avi at this time let's see what it what it looks like circular supply there it is a 51x now let me see 61.3 trillion, 56 million. I just want to make sure I'm getting it right. I'm going to go to CoinGecko so to get the most precise amount here. Um, yes, I am Twitter. I'm on Twitter. You can take a look at, oh, well, take a look at this. Real Oscar Ramos 1. That's me, my friend. Real Oscar Ramos 1. That's my Twitter account. So let's go ahead and bring Tectonic here. There you go. Welcome, fam. So circular and supply 61. Okay, we're doing it great. 661. Total is 500. 500. Okay, 61. That's good. I needed that. And what is the market cap? 
Market cap, we're looking at 56. Good. So we're having some correct uh, measurements here. And that is a 51X. That is not bad. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. That is 4048, zeros, everybody. 4048 zeros, from now. Of course, we're going to increase that circulating supply. That is for sure. Like I'm saying, right? I, uh, I want to increase my circulating to... I mean, if it's 500 trillion, everybody, Shiva Inu had um, many, many trillions right now. It's in the 300 or so. So for this one, I'll, I'll, I'll be conservative and say 350, right? There you go, 350. So if we do, with a circulating supply of 350, allowing, you know, a bunch more to come in, assuming, you know, 150 burn or something regarding closer to that. That will be an 887%. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, five zeros, eight. Right now we are at six zeros, one, six zeros, nine. That will be five zeros, eight. So you take, oops, you can take a look. And of course, by then, Abby will continue rising in, in, um, in price. So that will help a lot, um, all of these different cryptocurrencies. But what we're saying is, um, Tectonic having a market cap of 2.99 billion by then. So from 322 million right now to 2.9 billion at a circulating supply of 349.5 trillion. Bunch of things here, right, everybody? I like it. If I decrease the market cap, of course, it goes way, way, way lower. There you go. Way, 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 way lower. So Pretty interesting, right? Pretty interesting. Just kind of messing around with the prices and taking a look at all of this. Not bad. And this is what we have for Bitcoin at this time. Not bad at all. Pablo Bonfire, hey, happy to have you here, my man. Let's go. Um, how's it going? We're doing great, Marcus. Happy to have you here. Happy to have you here. When is the release of this supply? You're talking about uh, Versa Games. That's going to be April 12th, April 12th. But the snapshot is coming on April 11th. So you might want to have, right, some Crow and uh, BVS LP tokens already there. That's what I'm actually working on right now. For sure. Lots of stable coin swaps today. People are expecting the drop. Hey, I, I, I mean, I want lower, lower drops. Let me tell you that. I want lower. Apecoin right now, of course, dropping to oh, double bottom right here. That's a bullish pattern. So hopefully it's going to go up on Apecoin. And here's cryptocurrency, crypto.com. Not looking bad. Not looking bad. I got to tell you that. Not looking bad. Very good. We have a bunch of nice, awesome, bunch of nice, awesome notifications. So welcome and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. El Salvador ambassador to U.S. Bitcoin has made our small nation free and powerful. I'm going to leave it here just one second, everybody, and talk about it, right? As a Mexican, of course, we from uh, Latin America, we understand the power of democracy and security and preservation of wealth and preservation of money, capital. And I mean, I've seen it firsthand how inflation, right, and uh, killing your national currency, um, you know, doing poor economics has really hurt many different countries, Venezuela, for example, and other different places. So Mexico, uh, El Salvador, and all those, I mean, all my fellow um, patriots there, Spanish-speaking patriots, uh, definitely I think Bitcoin will be an amazing tool to preserve against the national, the national inflation um, threat that we're having, right? Because it's real. It's real. And a lot of people here in the United States see it too. Uh, if you're a millionaire, if you're a billionaire and you want to, you don't want to, you know, uh, perceive all that much inflation in your uh, super awesome wealth, then you're looking at things like this as even Michael Saylor is doing. So very smart for, for, um, for these people to do that. Very, very smart. So I like it. Really, really good. When we go to Kronos New, everybody, I mean, this is the place. And actually, they were having an AMA, which I joined. And I actually was thanking the guys because they were really nice. I, we really use their their information a lot. So I wanted to give them a shout out, right? Um, take a look at what they're posting right now. Two hours ago, Grow still has plenty of room of grow. Plenty of room, room to grow. 
So we found that Kronos Chain Token has the most favorable fully diluted value um, and total value lock ratio compared to others. Are you buying Crow? So here it is. Here it is. Not bad. I mean, Crow, not that late, not that old of a blockchain, but still growing, baby. That's what we want. That's what we want. The Kronos domination continues. We're happy to announce that Kronos has flipped Tron. Well, actually, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. I'm going to close all of this. I hope the tonic, you know, those go up because I think that has to happen eventually. And then, of course, the APY is going to continue rising. I'm going to go to DeFi Lamb and see the latest on the on the TVL. And Bitcoin, of course, and everyone is now coming up. So that is exactly what we were, what we were looking for. Don't, rem don't forget that tomorrow the Bitcoin conference 2022 starts. So pretty feeling pretty excited for that one. Hopefully, they're going to broadcast something. So there it is. Yes. Yes, indeed. Kronos position number eight, past waves, past Tron. Oh, let me tell you something. I just remember waves. Oh, baby. Have you guys checked waves? Super happy it's happening. <laughs> waves. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is exactly. That is exactly what happens, right? When you just have an amazing price manipulation that people are not here for the project, but just for gains. <laughs> Just take a look at that massive rampage uh, waves went all the way to the moon on TVL2, but now it is just dumping from the $60 to the $29, $30. It's a complete, complete change of events. Everything was absolutely destroyed when it comes to the price, right? Now, this doesn't happen too often, right? But this is just a nice peak and valley. Just how do you pump all the way to the moon? With news, usually this happens with insider trader news, right? People buying and then later on people buying and they're still selling. And then finally, when we, you are, you know, comfy with your gains, you start, you know, not letting anyone that you're going to sell and you start massively selling. And then you are actually, you know, hurting a lot of investor, uh, investors as they're not trying to liquidate. If you take a look at the one year, we've had this before with whales. I'm not into whales. I'm just showing you this for educational purposes so you had it once now you had it twice you see whales is a blockchain but not really not really into this blockchain it's just more information for you guys to really understand that i believe you know what's happening with with crowcoin for example nothing has to do anything with whales and we're gonna be having some sustainable growth later on i'm gonna click here and there you go for crypto.com on the price right now, what are we looking at? Here it is. This is what we're looking at, everybody. Still going around that orange support line that I created, becoming our support, later on becoming a resistance. It does feel right, as you can take a look at the Bollinger Bands right here. It's just there meeting that medium. So very good news for Kronos in a way. Still under 50. It's a great price. If you have a $10,000 putting it on Crow, I mean, with that, you can actually get a nice reward on your uh, staking with the, crow, uh, with the Crow card. So you might want to opt for that, right? <laughs> but just to give you that idea, everybody, on this one, Kronos is leading the pack with 52 protocols and MM Finance already leading the chart. We know that DeFi Lama, they don't update that quickly. Uh, MM Finance is already super high, probably 160. Let me actually go and find that for you. I think it's 160 billion and VVS Finance, which I'm going to find for you too. Actually, let's compare the three of them since we know the prices already. VVS Finance, which I'm going to be preparing for the Versa token launch uh, that is coming on pretty soon. I'm going to be preparing for that one. Let me tell you that. So while we wait for these numbers to load up, because they take a while to load. Why? Because my computer sucks. <laughs> oh, there it is. 1.64. I'm sorry, computer. I didn't mean it. 1.64 billion, right? Uh, 314 million circulating market cap. Not bad at all. Circulating supply 185, knowing that they have 500 million. And Versa token, they're going to have 400 million. So... And you know what price they're going to start? 10 cents. 
10 cents. I'm buying some. Let me tell you that I'm buying some. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am, because I don't want to miss in an opportunity like this. And as I explained in my video about Versa games, I was sponsored for that video. Not telling you to buy Versa games. It is just me showing some of my strategies as I always do it here, everybody. Now, let me go ahead and look at the analytics. Analytics. Will Crow ever break the Bitcoin trend, Alibaba? Um, that is a good question. Right now, it's really correlated to Bitcoin, really heavily correlated to Bitcoin, right? I'm not sure about that one, but I think in the future, for sure. Once it, uh, I will say it has even more adoption and uh, it's close to beating Binance. Yes, definitely. We're going to be seeing it explode even higher, assuming that the crow growth is not going to slow down. Now, here they have 1.28 billion. So you take a look at their numbers, 1.64 billion. And, and why did we have this, right? Well, this number was less than 1 billion. I remember it was like 500 million, 600 billion, uh, sorry, million, 700 million. It was growing and growing and growing and growing. While BBS Finance was still 1.3, 1.5 or so, started to decrease, started to decrease little by little, little by little. Like a look at this, right? So 1.45 at some point. And now it's decreasing. So it's because, of course, people are leaving, still in Kronos, leaving those protocols and going to new protocols where they can get more money. That's it. And there's nothing wrong about it. There's nothing wrong about it. It, it is what happens. Ali, here it is. I'm not in, in, into Ali, but I know it was doing okay, right? But uh, I'm not into Ali. Uh, BBS Finance, you know, wrapped Ether, Tectonic, you know, some of these cryptocurrencies not doing okay with the price. It is something expected, you know, nothing to be concerned about. As I know that it's going to take a while for all of this to occur. Tokens, this is what we're seeing on all tokens here on Tectonic. I'm sorry, on BBS Finance. Then on MMF, wealth completely destroying everything, right? So it's available for trading on their platform as we click here. On the crypto.com exchange here it is here you're gonna be able to see mmf as you can trade it right usually a lot of people like to use the application so you're not gonna have a lot of a change that is why i was mentioning that uh before right even though it's already there it's it's not in the crypto.com app i try to find it it is not there so until it's there then we're gonna i believe we're gonna start seeing some massive dumps for sure Nice. Mm -mm. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So yes, let's go. Loving it, everybody. Loving it, loving it, loving it. 45,000, 2.09. Still a nice flash, flash dump on this one, but that's what we like to see. Are we going to be able to buy Versa or just earn it? You're going to be able to buy it and, of course, have the possibility to get it on the uh, on the vault. Number one, by adding XVVS um, tokens, you know, to into your vault. And two, by buying Crow and VVS Finance LPs. Albert, you got $200 in VVS Finance. I got more than that, about $300 plus dollars and uh, some more in the vaults and so on. Yes, slowly but surely growing, slowly but surely growing for sure. And allocating a bunch of more, more money in other different projects. Where I have the most, everybody, is definitely my crypto.com, what? DeFi wallet. That's where I have the most money because that to me is the, you know, safe and sound. Don't even worry about just keep collecting profits, keep collecting profits. Um, that's one that I put, I believe, 8,000 Crow coins. And I haven't moved any any of them in, in the last couple of months. So that's just my, you know, safety net. And after that, we'll continue building my entire portfolio. So it's awesome to see that, right? All righty, fam. Crypto flash dump as it occurs every now and then. Look at that B-shaped recovery. Not bad at all, guys. Everyone, I want to thank you guys for coming in to the live. Honestly, I appreciate that a lot. As you know, more videos coming in later on this week. On Thursday, 9 p.m., the live is already there. It's public, so you can go ahead and share that link with everyone. 
And as I mentioned on Twitter, I'm already working on kicking off my Spanish channel. The link is in the description down below. Scroll down and you will see the link because of course there's some audience there asking for it and I wanna deliver that. That's more work, but I hopefully you guys like. Thank you very much for coming in, guys. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Great news for Bitcoin and tomorrow starting the conference for Dogecoin, thanks to Elon Musk. He pumped all the way to the moon. My expectation is it's gonna, of course, drop later on. Then we have, what do we have for the thumbnail? Crypto.com, of course, doing magnificent in the price. Still, it's not pumping, but hey, who cares? I like to buy it under $2, under $1. And of course, um, what is it? Well, Kronos Ecosystem Protocols, they're doing well, getting all that liquidity pool monies, right? Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I appreciate your kind and awesome support. And I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Thank you guys for your questions and all the moderators and new subscribers and new likes. Awesome. All the new members. Thank you guys for coming in. I'll catch you later. More videos coming out later on. Have a good one, everybody. Let's go. Thank you, Albert. Appreciate it. Bunch of things going on, guys. And awesome questions. That's of course, there's of course a lot of different tokens, right? And um, always buy the ones that you believe in. Do your research, everybody, and buy what you can afford losing. Peace.